On September the 12th, 1977, Ann Harmeyer, a 20-year-old student at Indiana University's Bloomington campus, departed from her home in Cambridge City, Indiana. She was dedicated to the school's drama program. However, she did not attend class that day, causing her mother to worry when she did not get the expected phone call from Ann that night. Parked along Indiana State Road 37 in Morgan County near Martinsville, Indiana, was Anne's Pontiac Le Mans. Painted in a rust-colored shade, the car was found locked with a dead battery and emergency flashers still on. Further examination revealed a malfunctioning thermostat and in her purse were missing and there were no signs of a struggle reported in the area. The immediate area underwent thorough searches alongside a missing persons campaign that extended throughout central and southern Indiana, even capturing the attention of national news outlets. Despite these efforts in the weeks that followed, there was no breakthrough. It was not until October the 18th, 1977, when a farmer starting his harvest made a grim discovery. Anne's remains in a cornfield, roughly four miles away from where her car had been abandoned. The tragic truth unfolded as it was revealed that she had been assaulted and strangled with a garrote crafted from her own clothing and belongings. Numerous suspects were being considered, ranging from Indiana University students to local residents and individuals who were later found guilty of committing similar murders in the area. One of these suspects was Stephen Judy, who was arrested and convicted for the murder of a woman and her three children in Morgan County in 1979. He confessed to several other murders before being executed in 1980. Some of the victims were strangled with a garrote made from their own personal belongings. Despite this, Judy maintained his innocence in Anne's murder, and official records show he would have been in prison elsewhere at the time of her disappearance. Jeffrey Hand, another individual, was fatally shot by police in Howard County, Indiana in 1980 while trying to abduct a woman from her car. In 2019, DNA evidence connected Hand to the 1972 murder of an Indiana State University student. It remains uncertain if any DNA evidence can be retrieved from the existing evidence in Anne's case for comparison. As an only child, Anne Harmeyer endured the devastating loss of her father at the young age of four, and her mother died in 1983. The legacy of Anne's life and the unresolved tragedy of her murder are lovingly preserved by friends and family who have occasionally found themselves in conflict with authorities over the lack of transparency in Anne's case. The Indiana State Police have stressed that the investigation remains active and could be in danger if additional details are revealed prematurely. Indiana State Police have called on the public to provide any information they have about this case. I would love to hear your thoughts below. I receive lots of emails asking about my past videos. I assure you, if there are any updates on any video that I've done, I will immediately make a new video with updates. I really appreciate your kind words, and thank you all for being here. Without you, there would absolutely be no channel, and I love doing this. Thank you all.